So we have come out for Riley's walk. And we have a full moon. And it's a little bit red from the smoke from the Idlewild fire. Idlewild is actually over this way. And normally you could see the mountain, but that really bad fire up in Idlewild is still burning out of control. Hunt the bunnies, go get them. They're right there, there he goes. <laughs> See now something in the because this happened about like at least three or so weeks ago, if not a month. It really is a snake. Yeah. So it was really long. That is a big snake. Yeah, it was really big gopher snake. So half of it's missing. Because the other half of that snake or and longer was going down this hole right here. That is not a gopher snake. That is a rattlesnake. No, it was a gopher snake. So you're just seeing the bones of its tail. No, I, I saw this snake come like from right over there a little bit. Yeah. And it was coming, it was right here, and it was probably six or seven feet long. Yeah, it's big. Because I was walking from the park on my walk back in here. So that snake there, from that long, that's its tail, and it had disappeared down that hole. And it was after something. But whatever was in that hole that it was after, Ate it. Must have won. No, because because this has just been weeks later. Because then, like the next day, and walking and everything, I don't know why I didn't ever tell you. The snake was here in one piece, except dead. But it was but it was the whole length going in there. But now, since we're out here, freaky honey, that's a big snake. Yeah, it was a big snake. Right by our house, that's a huge snake. So other things, birds and whatever. I mean, something flew off with half its body there, or a coyote or something. Yeah when it was fresh, you know, that night. Yeah. But I just want to tell you that story. Wowzers. Yeah. That happened. It happened. Do you need a, do you need a souvenir? That's like, that's probably like the last, that's probably like the last quarter of that snake. I'm like very interested. <laughs> that honey is a rattler. No, it wasn't a rattlesnake. I saw it, it was a gopher snake. I saw it when it was alive. See, and see, it's just disintegrated and everything because it's been out here for like a month and, and it's been 107 degrees every day. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I didn't tell you that sooner. Because you knew I'd freak out about a big old snake. I don't like spider snakes. <laughs> that ain't what it takes, love me. You fool, you fool. No, the next verse. I don't like spiders and snakes. Do you know how it ends? No. I don't like it. I don't like spiders and snakes. And that ain't what it takes to love me. Like I want to be loved by you. Oh, that's right. I forgot that part. I don't like spiders and snakes. That ain't what it takes to love me. You fool, you fool. Two, three, four. I don't like spiders and snakes. That ain't what it takes to love me like I want to be loved by you. He's on the camera right past that tree, everyone. And he's like, oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you scared the bunny. But I wanted him to move so Riley would see him. Good boy, Ry Ry. Tell those bunnies it's after dark and they need to go home to bed. Bunnies after dark. Hey, I I think that was a yeah a theme song at the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> it might have been. Bunnies after dark. I think I saw that show like in the eighties or something. <laughs> I think when I was in high school, I stayed up till like two a.m. to see Bunnies after, after dark. dark. I hope they get that fire out and not too many houses are burning. That's not a squirrel, that's a bunny. It's a squirrel. You think that's a squirrel? That may take on Riley. I'm sure. Riley might no, it's a bunny down low, oh. see? <laughs> <laughs> a squirrel that size might take on Riley just for fun. And it's shiny. And it's shiny. <laughs> I 
feel like I should live in a musical sometimes. <laughs> like today. <laughs> like right now I feel right. like I should live in a musical. Ready? Sing me your whole day. I woke up this morning and I needed some more rest. So I let the alarm clock sing a few songs. I got up, I took out the trash, I cleaned the toilets, I cut up a cantaloupe. It was okay, but it really wasn't quite ripe enough. Hopefully she washed her hands in between taking out the trash. I washed my hands, I took a shower, I fed the dog, I picked a flower, I got ready to leave, pulled out of my driveway, and then there was a trash truck in my way. I waited, I waited, and then I heard screaming. The two little boys that live across the street, they came out screaming for the trash truck. They were so excited, they couldn't contain it. They screamed and ran and ran and screamed because they love the trash truck more than anything. I waved goodbye, I drove to work. I had a little traffic. I got there on time, I went inside. Worked my day, it was just fine. Till I had an early lunch. And then it was better, it was amazing. I got to go to Taco Bell with my love. He picked me up and drove me there and bought me lunch. I went back to work and worked the day. I worked the day away. It was fine, I got things done. And then I drove away to my home. I got home and I had a wonderful dinner. My husband bought KFC for me, my mom, my dad, and me. It was delicious. I had some chicken. I even had some corn and green beans and potatoes. Then we played ping pong. And I lost, but I did really good and I tried my best and that is all that matters. You see, try your best, give your best, do the best you can each day. I just realized that I left out the very best part of my day. I got an email on my phone that something arrived for me today. My husband bought me awesome gifts, some surprises that I've wanted. I got the email, I gave him a call, he went to the mailbox, he got my gift and brought it back home, and then he called me and said that it was awesome. And I already came home and I saw it and it was an awesome surprise. So thank you to my husband for buying me something so amazing. Look at those sunflowers, those are amazing. I just love my husband for buying me such a wonderful surprise. I'm gonna sing about everything. It feels so good. Yeah, you can see about everything. And there's our neighbor vacuuming his car. Yes. We did. could tell you a lot of things about him. <laughs> yes, we could. But we only say nice things and we forgive him. <laughs> yes. He hasn't done anything to us personally. No. Yeah. Come over to me. Oh, there's a couple. Yeah, they're playing. Oh. There must be a lot of bugs out. And then we saw two bats. Playing and frolicking about. <laughs> so many bugs for them to eat. It is for them, for them to eat. They can't stop, they just eat. <laughs> Hi, puppy. 